Howdy everyone, Mr. Cosby here in my virtual studios in beautiful Atascacita, Texas with another chemistry lesson on the properties of matter. In this lesson you're going to learn about physical and chemical properties and physical and chemical changes. And it's important to understand how matter changes because that's what chemistry is all about. Matter changing and the energy involved in those matter changes. And so let's get started. Physical properties, characteristics that don't change the substance. These are properties that involve no new substance. The substance doesn't change, such as tearing paper or cutting a board in half. That's just a change in their shape or structure, but you still have paper and you still have wood. You can even take and dissolve sugar in water and you still have sugar and you still have water. You've just changed their form. There's no new substance. All right. Types of physical uh, properties can be things like mass, weight, volume, uh, solubility, density, which is just uh, your mass per volume, uh, and malleable and ductile. And you might say, well, what's ductile? And that's the ability of a substance to be drawn into wires. And malleable means that something can be hammered into a shape such as gold or copper and some of those uh, metals. All right, examples. Well, blue is a color. Uh, 100 grams is a weight or actually that's a mass. 1.5 grams per milliliter is a density. Pour slowly is a way of describing its viscosity and dissolves in water has to do with its solubility. But these are all examples of physical changes. Uh, there's no, in, in physical properties, there's no new substance. And that's what we want to be aware of when we're talking about physical changes or physical properties. Chemical properties are characteristics that change the substance. You get a new substance, such as when you take and burn a piece of paper. As you burn that piece of paper, it goes through a chemical change and what you have left over is uh, ashes or carbon and what escaped was carbon dioxide and water. You have new substances. That's chemical products, chemical changes. Ideas about chemical or about the types of chemical changes would be things like flammable, corrosive like rust, pH like uh, acid and basic, and explosive, kaboom. All of these are types of chemical properties and chemical changes. Examples would be things like reacts with water, combusts, reacts with oxygen, and a sour taste. Oh, that would be an acid or a bitter taste. That would be basic. And usually that comes from a chemical reaction and creates chemical changes. So recapping our ideas here on chemical and physical uh, changes. A physical or property or change has to do with uh, no new substances. It's the same old thing. Even though you may have changed it, you may have uh, cut it up into little pieces, you may have dissolved it, but you do not have a new substance. That's what physical changes are about. And then chemical properties and changes give you a new substance. You take hydrogen and oxygen, react them together, kaboom, you get water. Okay, that's a chemical property, that's a chemical change. And that's what we need to be uh, aware of here. The big key concept here is that in order for it to be a physical change and physical property, it will involve no new substances. But if it is a chemical property or change, you're going to have new substances. And it's important that we understand these as we begin to talk about phase changes and uh, energy transfer or thermodynamics in the coming lessons. Well, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Causey at mrcausey.com. And be sure to check out mrcauseysworld.com where you can get PowerPoints and uh, much more. 
and uh, check out my YouTube. Just go there and sign up uh, for my, uh, subscribe to my YouTube and keep up on the lessons. All right, happy islands, everyone.